What's happening, ladies and gentlemen of League Zero, and welcome to the postseason pe press conference for the Papega Parrots. That is about the worst tongue twister I've had for the whole thing, and this is also the last Fuck press conference. Man. Uh, sure, yeah. why not? Anyways, we have a few members of the team here today, might have a few more joining in later, and we have a <laughs> special surprise for the ending, because what else would happen with this team? Anyways, from the top to the bottom, we have Tanic B, the Flex DPS, Jeff, the uh, main tank, Croc, the mental health coach, coach, I don't know. Crockers. I, I, I know you like joined Papega in, like in like a green, I, so... <laughs> Crockers is kind of a bro. I don't know. SBT. Yeah, I, I was official team, bro. Same I didn't frame, do shit for He was uh, fucking a man. Uh, Ranter. <laughs> uh, assistant manager, I think. Or like coach, or god knows what. Some, I, something I, was, I, I was a coach, man. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, Pigeon. Another... I was coach. a coach. Coach? Okay. Because you had a team management role, I was like, I don't remember you becoming assistant manager. Me uh, and Pidgey kind of like just vibe at the coaching. True, man. <laughs> Are you. <laughs> we'll get to you Fuck in a sec. Man. Uh, anyway, Sherlock, flex support, and then LPN, another flex support, who is also apparently dying. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> man, LPN, what? are you fucking him out? I'm just, <laughs> so I'm no. just gonna drop that down a little Fuck bit. It didn't peak too bad, but just a tiny bit. Okay, anyways, let's get into the actual it? questions. So, we'll start off with this one. This one's actually coming from Kern Master. He had a lot of good uh, intermediate questions. Oh, so God, he's... I hate Kern Master, man. I love Kern Master. But anyways, his question, I, I, I hate him. He's his question is, how did, it feel, how did it feel to be called bad just because you were in Division A? Um, um, it actually hurt my feelings, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Who cares? Uh, I'm like an Overwatch. Man, fuck it, a man. Uh, I guess we went on Yoink. Wait, let, let Sherlock take it, let Sherlock take it. Uh, I can take this one. I mean, honestly, I feel like sure there was a huge difference between Div A and DB, and considering that, like, we ended up getting dropped by Yoink, but they were red hot going into playoffs. Um, however, it's just... It, it's... It, being called bad shouldn't even be a thing considering what tier this league is. Everybody's bad. We have literally one person who is in contenders out of this entire league. So two, I, I feel like the trash <clears throat> two technically, yeah. Uh, but like this, the, the entire league is just for fun. And so being called bad when we honestly didn't technically try our best in the playoffs, um, I think I think it's kind of funny to be honest. I mean, to go on to this, not even the best team in Div A made the grant and you look at the record, <laughs> like, Literally, Vitalize made the grand, and they were like, what, ranked third in our div? They were, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I mean like... yeah, I don't know. I mean, any any team any any team can, you know, do well in the playoffs, right? That, just, that's what I said. It doesn't matter what it, div you're from. It just depends on how hard you actually try and how hard you actually want it, right? Right? Yoink really wanted that fucking win, so they <laughs> went and got that fucking win. It's just simple as that. They Vitalize watched our Natterbond. <laughs> yeah, they, they, watched, did. they watched our fucking Natterbond. <laughs> Like, I thought that was kind of cringe, not gonna lie. I think but... they watched it, like, live, too. So they watched it during, like, live where everything was happening. Yeah, I think I saw Kern in the chat. They were getting their popcorn. They were sitting at the couch. They were getting ready. Yeah. But yeah, on, on, the, on the Div A, Div B thing, I think it's just kind of dumb. Because I feel like a lot of that, thing, that all that shit happened just because of the draft. Like, the draft happened, and it was like, Oh, yo, wait, what's looking kind of good, guys. Uh, but Div, Div A? Kind of stinky. And then no one and then no one ever actually thought, like, Oh, hey, maybe maybe these teams aren't so far apart. I right? mean, I mean, like, this is going on. There's only, like, really two bad teams in our Div, and that's why they shit on a Div. Like, no offense to DK and Bob Burgers, but that was, like, the they, main reason. If, okay, if, if they just, if they, uh, if Div, okay, sorry, hold on, let me. Okay, if Bob Burgers the was in Div B, and any other team, like say like, I don't know, like High Society or something, or like Overcharged, right? If they were in Div A instead, it would be a lot closer. Like, like those teams were just such massive train wrecks that they just dragged, they just anchored our division. That's what I right? was thinking, yeah. Like, like, the only, like, if you look at, like, the records of, like, Vitalizing the regular season, right? Like most of these teams are just farm DK and Bob Burgers. Like it was literally just like, oh, okay, extra bye week, cool. Like, like yeah, I mean, it was it was just 
Like that was so true. That was so true. It, it was literally fine. And, and it's not. And it's not even a fault to any of the any of the players. It's just like it's like the managers. Like, it was more yeah, ma like poor management from the beginning, and people just kind of wrote them off. So it just crushed their confidence, right? Like I love Octo, but he did not manage Bob Burgers in the greatest he a, way. He, he had a bad draft. I think, you guys, uh, I think you guys are giving High Society kind of a battle rap. They had a, they had Skiller. I don't, I don't think you guys know. <laughs> Yo, they also had Wumpus, though, guys. They had Wumpus. Okay, Wumpus. no, no, no. Cl Wumpus. Guys, 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 guys. You guys, you guys, I don't know what happened to Skiller, right? He disappeared randomly, and I still want to figure out where he is, okay? I don't know. I'm still on the lookout for Skiller. <laughs> Just out of nowhere, it. right? He's These racist... Diamond. These racist staff. He's actually 3.5 now. He got back in. Wait, you know where Skiller is? You know, wait. Wait. What? You know where Skiller is? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay. Skiller is gone. Literally, no, I am Skiller. Anyways, we'll move on to the next question. This one was submitted anonymously, but it is Why did you guys look so defeated for the first few weeks when Chicken was suspended? I felt like. Wait, wait, just. Uh, taking a dive because he said the N word. Maybe yeah. it was just fun. From what it looked uh, like, to be honest, do I don't think it was anyways. a dive. It really, to be honest, it wasn't a dive. Mostly because we were working with what we had. We went two and one in the three weeks that he was gone. We we only took an L against CDC, and it wasn't just because we didn't have chicken. We also it, it, it's because I also didn't have team. a main tank. We also didn't yeah. have a main tank that we. He was like arguably the best team at that time. <laughs> Yeah, I was just I was just such an alpha. I'm just so mm -hmm. epic at the game, bro. I don't know what to tell. So it's just I don't think it was we were defeated because we weren't defeated. We won two to one. All right, we went two and one with those three weeks, and it's just we just had a bad week against CDC. Not just because they're a great team, but also because we didn't have players that week. Yeah, I was I was ringing on hit scan. I don't so, know, yeah, it, it just kind of cracked on the soldier. Scheduling was definitely a problem for Pepega the entire season. Oh, it's just, it's just <laughs> unlucky, really. Yeah, um, yeah we, all, you know, we, went, we went two and two because we went up against DC with four main supports. Or four support players in the... Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then, and, then, and, then, and then DC players went and talked shit on like the countdown. That was funny. It's like, Good clap. wow. Nice, nice one, nice one, bro. Main tank, uh, bro. We could have let new kids go on the tank line. We would have been crazy. All right. I don't know what you're saying, man. The Gino Cena main tank kind of goes hard in the paint. Skiller's crazy yeah, at this Kryzo game. Cryzo W. <laughs> Cryzo W, my favorite. Bro, player. I'm gonna say where the, the no. Nope, I'm gonna say the N word. Yeah, I'm gonna where say is the Gino's? Wait, no, wait, 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 we're talking about Skiller, but where's Gino's, man? Wait, yeah. wait, we need to follow Shim on Twitter. Thing. Make sure you're following oh, Shim. Where's Shim's Twitter, by the way? Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, Shim, Shim Shim on Twitter. You whatever happened to Aimbot Joe? That guy was crazy <laughs> at the game too. Whoa, whoa. Nah, bro. <laughs> Aimbot Joe? He his, yeah. Aimbot Joe, bro? You mean, actually, no, nah. They're not, nah, they're not the same know, You know why we're signed up for L0? Mm -hmm. uh, NBA y Young Rod. Uh. Aimbot Joe sounds a lot like Lethal, just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. NBA Young Rod sounds like Raw too, man. You guys yeah. are trying yeah. way too hard. <laughs> we're trying, we're trying right. Raw. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're just asking where our friends are. Yeah, Is that we're, a anyways. Maybe we're just trying to fuck them Those up. Those are your friends? Yikes. Anyways, next question is actually from SBT. So, Wait, what? He... Oh, oh, oh you're asking us a question, man. I never asked a question at all. So, well, you ask us I had to reword this one a little bit to make it more succinct, but essentially it's how did you end up with so many season one plat chatters? Was it intentional or did it just happen that way? Fucking a man. Yeah, I reckon that was, that was, I reckon that was, that's just the basis of it. They fucked a man and just ended up with this. Yeah, I mean, next question. I mean, I can comment on this. Um, at the beginning, um, after the managers got released and I wasn't one of them, I was very upset, to say the least. Oh yeah, I remember I, that. I molded hard, not gonna Oh yeah, then when Platchett didn't go to like, one of the yeah, season one matches, oh, one of the new managers, she got even yeah. more salty, it was so funny. Uh, yeah, I was vibing up Minecraft. League. Nice. Fucking nice a man. Game. I think uh, it was not intentional that we picked up a lot of these Platchat players. It just happened by choice or by chance. I mean, I mean, also it's like, um, like I remember talking to uh, to Kiz about it because it was essentially like me and Kiz who um, did a lot of like the uh, like building of the roster, like Wait. scouting and shit. Like it was like it was essentially like 
me, Kiz, Tannik, and Chicken that were doing like a lot of scouting. I didn't do any scouting. No, I just okay. said, oh, I just went to pugs and played. <laughs> yeah, but like I could have been, said, like, I could have been drafted by Shanghai, by the way. Like oh, there was yeah, a high. Tannik and Risa, man. No, if it wasn't for Muhammad, I would have been on Shanghai, not even capping. I'd like the. Did not. It was the Tannik horse. It was the Tannik horse, dude. Yeah, the Tannik Arisa goes hard, Ooh. man. I did kind of win a game in Tokyo, man. I did kind of care. No, do you know? Like, oh, I'll be quiet. But yeah, no. no, it was just like it was just like I I I wanted to get players who I was familiar with and who I was friendly with. I didn't I didn't want to get anyone like new because like in the pugs, I wasn't really that impressed. With with anyone like yeah new besides like a couple people and then the like, people that we picked, like, gym guy. like the only the only person who I was like super super impressed of that was new in the pugs was Shim and then we ended up nah. Shim anyways so it was like Shim wasn't good bro I'm Shim was Shim. <laughs> so, sorry Shim was... I love you but I have to bully you for being a somber one pick yeah somber. so you like get him, <laughs> you get him yeah, you get him I'm fucking a man man I'm yeah, fucking a man, man. Wait, Tannik, no, but... Wait, it's, like the second it, it's kind of funny how, like, I got picked up, because, like, um, oh, with yeah. the... Yeah. <laughs> so, I was I part remember of that. I was in the voice B. call, but, like, after a scrim, everyone was like, Yo, OG's falling apart, they want to trade LPN. We were like, wait, wait, we can just get LPN for free, let's try getting LPN. And it ended up, like... Yeah. And uh, it, it just kind of sucked, because, like, you know, I, it, it's been so long since... I last seen my son lost to this monster. The man no. behind the slaughter. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Since you've been gone, I've been singing this stupid song so I could ponder the sanity of your mother. You know, you know, what right, just... is purple. <laughs> this I is, this that is probably the baby. least funny press conference I've been to thus far, and it's kind of funny how sad it is. <laughs> Anyway, you making fun of us, Akronator? You're making yes. fun of us? That's kind of racist. Yes. You know what? This is racist. This is no, 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 no. You can't, no, you no. can't even do face cams. I don't know what skin color you are. Yeah, man, this is, this is a fucking a man moment. You um, know exactly what you're doing. Oh, my God. Anyway, next, next, man. next question. If you joke so Sherlock Sierra, he would have seen his face. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. the next question yeah. is about the quarterfinals. Uh, someone anonymous wanted to know why you just kind of rolled over and died against Yoink. Like, obviously Yoink did a lot of preparation, but what was going on on your side of things, especially in-game? I think we just thought the running meta for too long. Meta was not the- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, also, Kiz- Kizko, They're... um... And oh, Kizko's dude, the out of friend's place, thing. and, yeah. Kizko and Gino also kind of died. Like, they had no internet, and then Gino gets banned anyway. <laughs> yeah, Gino gets Literally... banned. Um... Kizgo decided to show go to a friend's place and didn't show up for the warm up scrim. Um, yep. But then again, the warm up scrim was literally just one hour of internals. Oh yeah, um, we had a rock DB and, and scrimming. Fucking, it was it was fucking yeah, it was just scuffed. I don't like like we were like oh yeah we'll find a scrim and then like two minutes before the scrim they're like oh yeah I haven't found one yet. <laughs> like like Penguin That's literally it. had one job and he just never did it. It was <laughs> it was fucking. <laughs> It was it was amazing how much. You could have done like you know of these shirts. Warm us up and we had to put the grim on the on main support. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> to be honest, the weeks leading up to the quarterfinals were really bad anyway. Uh, we, we just yeah. stopped improving as a team. We just stopped yeah, like. We're... I I don't know where it happened. I think. It was after yeah, it was we... after the vital. It was after the CDC game. I think. After the CDC game, if we like played. If we played against every team like we did against CDC, we probably played a, we probably would have beat Yoink with like most teams. Because we played so well against CDC. I don't know what happened after that. We, um, after, I mean, I, I think I can answer that. I had to drop everything I've learned on Ana and play a character I haven't played oh, in like a year. That was yeah. um, my fault. If Gino's internet wasn't affected by the Canadian internet syndrome, and, and he, he didn't pull the cries of W out of the bag, we would have... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Free cries, by the way. Free cries? <laughs> yeah, I but... support this. Um, yeah. If I could say something, I feel like by the end, yeah, I feel like I kind of agree with Sherlock, where I feel like we were all just really tired. Uh, oh, yeah, I was really burnt out. I think nobody, like... in, in many cases, some people, like, didn't want to show up to scrims. Uh, some people were tired. I was tired. I didn't want to show up to scrims half the time. And yeah, I just, I, I knew, I was probably going to skip half the scrims if there wasn't a. Yeah, and then at the end of the like, I feel like by the end of it, we just all kind of just 
Like, some of us wanted to we try, and then some of us were done. Like, it's pretty evident that Kizgo didn't... Well, it's... We're not... I'm not sure if Kizgo didn't want to, but... Kizgo choosing Kizgo. to go to his... Kizgo choosing to go to his friend's house kind of, for me, showed him that he was kind of done. And then by the end, we were just like, well, Yoink practiced really, really hard. They knew exactly what to do. They knew what to practice. And we well, just kind of... We were just kind of there. I feel yeah. like almost like... Just, like, and collapsing. Even... You no, know, even though we played so bad, we still could have beat them. You know, I I think we still could have probably beat them. They yeah. played so bad against us, but we just, like when they got three out by Yoink, I was not even surprised. Oh, yeah, I better like we were, yeah, we were, we were playing like, better than we played really bad. Oh yeah, like I mean, like I feel like it's just because you know we went through this season, we had to carry so many things. Like we had three weeks without chicken, we had to go a few weeks without Jeff. Yeah. Um, I think if we had an intended lineup without anything going wrong the entire time, we probably wouldn't have been as burnt out. But like the chicken situation, the Jeff situation, yeah, um, you know, situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. This community, like, besides like this, like the Vega itself, like the Vega team, like there's some other, there's some good people on other teams. Is ever like everyone in this team? I I get along with great, but just the entire like community outside of Vega, I just I don't really care for. And they're just kind of drain the fun out of the game. Like it's just all these fucking like people yapping on about how they're like better at a video game. It's like, oh yeah. Oh, dude, that's like, actual facts. Okay. That's like another reason it, why I just, didn't want to oh, do next no. season. It, no, the, 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 the that's my biggest. So, it's so draining. It takes the fun out of the game. Like right? in season one, it felt like a community. Like yeah, yeah. Like, like, and here's the thing: in season one, even when we trash talk each other, we all like we knew we were friends. We were really just joking around. With this, it's like malicious, actually. Yeah, which is really retarded. Yeah, I yeah. know. It was it was generally just like depressing. And the, the reason I joined last season was because it was an alternate alternative to competitive. Because competitive is terrible. Trash. It's oh, yeah. it's trash. It's the worst mm -hmm. out of any FPS ever. And then, say the, and then this know. league just became just competitive. Like it literally just, became the competitive like VCs. It just became yeah, you know really happened? toxic for no reason. It just became competitive CS, or just, not CS Overwatch on Discord. You know how like, this was like how Advance was last season. Basically Advance just swapped with Inter, like the same mentalities. In Advance came a lot more close and like it wasn't even I never seen seen much heat up in Advance at all. Like the most the most like malicious thing I've ever seen was the e easy collapse, and that's it. And then this, there's been so many situations of like more toxicity. At least I've seen because in like in advance, yeah. everyone was bad. Dude, 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 like, dude, we had a whole different server just to shit talk people. Like there was grape server, people just shit talk each other nonstop, and it was so funny to read. I mean, half the time yeah, the people the doing it were not that good. Like, there are people you would, like, put, you would see that, like, they were not that impressive, like, they didn't do much at all. Besides, like, maybe, like, do one big... Also, another thing, it's a love-hate relationship with this. I, I, the tier lists are so retarded, but also cool at the same time. But, like, yeah. the way people use it, it's really bad. Because yeah. they do it on a week-by-week -week basis, and they expect people to be gods. And, I'm like, oh, this guy performed good this week, but last week he was so bad. And then, like, they just spread it everywhere. It's, like, such a big gossip, and it's so aggravating. Yeah, also, yeah. the entire idea of tier lists... It, most of it just is made to bring people down. It's like to it's, say, oh, hey, this it's person so demoralizing. is better. Yeah, it, it's demoralizing. It's saying, like, hey, this person is better than you at this. Straight up, I think you are worse than this person. No matter what happens, you are worse. Right? I mean, here's here's my argument for that. They, they do the same thing for the Overwatch League, you know? And I'm not defending no. it. I'm just saying that it, it happens but in, like, a high competitive yeah, level. But Overwatch, the Overwatch League players are fucking pros. The, this is actually, like a small community thing, right? I mean, they also, get even then, here's the difference between Owl and this. Owl is a longer season, so they have a better time to improve. With this, it's like you have like five weeks, and you're like, oh, go in. <laughs> you're kind of like just have a very shorter period compared to Owl. Owl is like, what, 20 to 30 matches? This is like, what, 12, 10? Like, ten. That's a ten. way shorter ten. period. Owl has 20 uh, matches. We have 10. To piggyback, to piggyback off uh, Rancer here, it's also that Overwatch players generally aren't the ones that make the tier list. It's the players it's the here in... Sorry? It's the fans who do it most it's of the time. It's the fans who do it. In this case, we're League Zero. We're the ones making the tier list. We have our own personal biases that are, are no, ma no matter what's going to happen, are going to seep in. No matter how objective you try to be. Like, so, I remember when people used to trash talk BQB, and look how good he is now. Like, oh, he yeah. has a way bigger time period to improve. Compared to like, us, it's like... 
Very short. BQ B in season two was one of the what was like one of the weakest DPS out there. Like flat out, he was one. I was like, I was not. I thought Sayaplay was like better than him. BQB falling off the map was basically his peak in season two. Then this season, he's becoming a flat out superstar in DPS. Like I thought BQB was like gonna be average this season. He's proving to be like top tier. So actually, what was the question again? Yeah, we kinda go on to you, Yeah, we kinda go on How'd you shit the bed in the quarters? You kinda answered it. Oh yeah. So we can move on oh, yeah. to uh, some more general questions, some easier questions to answer. So like what would you say is your Buckingham biggest man. regret from this season? Not fucking a man. Um <laughs> for a man. Um for me, probably not getting on Papago sooner. Like it's nothing nothing against C D C or anything, it's just these guys are like, you know, my close friends. Right. For me, you know, it'd be me letting myself be forced to only play one hero. I should have just, I should have just called what Shim did and said, "I'm not gonna play if I'm not only if I'm only gonna play me." Because if I didn't play me, I think we would have done a lot better. Because that's what Vitalize did with Jolton and it worked. Out. I mean, I tried, man. Yeah, I would literally, I would make you go to scrims and say, "Hey, I'll let you not play me," and then you would actually go. But then you like, if I had to play me, I'm leaving. Yeah. I was like the one of the only guys that was trying to get you off of me. I was like trying. I was oh. trying to put you on fire in Hanzo. <laughs> yeah, I was I was there, having more fun in those. There there is one more thing. I wish I wish I uh I wish I helped out more like behind the scenes with the team. Cause I feel like what I what I usually do is just show up to scrim, you know, play, do good or bad, whatever the day was, and then and then like leave. Yeah. But I feel like I feel like I should have tried more. Like, I feel like I didn't- I never did enough, I don't feel like. I feel like if I did more, things could have been different. But I mean, you know, obviously, I'll never know now, which is- Yeah. It's whatever. Uh, it's fine. But yeah, I feel like I should have tried to- I should have at least tried to step up, like, especially in the absence of Shash. Like, after Shash, like, decided to just completely let go of the team. For his own personal reasons, which- Yeah, he had you know, uh, it's fine. It, it wasn't a yeah. big deal. But I feel like, you know, if I if I could have helped out, I should have. And I could have, but I didn't. Because I thought that, you know, oh hey, well, my job, play main tank and show up the scrims. And play yeah. The game, right? I I kind of limited myself, which is just, it just, it wasn't a good idea. You know, just should have tried to help out the team as much as possible, which I didn't. So. Actually, kind of a follow-up question on some of the mentality that you're displaying here is like you you very obviously want to play with just this very small group so why don't you go to like other tournaments like uh, open division ggna uh rose cup rose league whatever the hell they're called nowadays that like oh let you God. get together with uh, your uh, with like pre made fun, teams fun fact ranch is banned from rose cup so even well, if you that's wanted not him the only one like, though that, that's just yeah you know, there there are literally dozens of tournaments like that and of course you're welcome here but it sounds Shout like out to the rose staff for banning me even though i've only sent six messages in their server uh, I don't know. also a lot of us made other commitments i just wanted to take a break in general like i joined reverse with like rancher and Tizgo. um yeah, shim's like, also on reverse, yeah. yeah so like me and shim his go joined reverse I mean, a lot um, of Pega is on reverse or FK oh, yeah. Sapphire, where we just, we yeah. just had a game today that went to a map five. Like, we oh yeah, we each other. Reverse. yeah, we almost got reverse swept. But like, we all still play with each other outside the league. But here's the thing: when you're in League Zero, you're getting more potential and more practice because yeah. you're going against different people who are just building synergies as well. Like, for example, Yoink would be what team that was just built randomly. You're practicing against different styles, and it helps you better as a player. And it helps me better as a coach, so as a manager, because it helps me in the future when I want to make my own teams, for example. I think also, like, a good amount of Papega did actually kind of, like, branch out. Because we oh, did yeah. make, for, like, a while, we did have the, the, the boys of the team where we did for that one of That was so fun. <laughs> that was actually so much fun. Where that we, was, where we that got was a, very fun. I really like that. We got a couple of like the people from uh, Papega and then we formed our own team and then we just went to the. We had some people that were really serious about the team and then we had some people that <laughs> like that goofed around the entire scrim. It was, a, it was a good experience of I really liked the OD season. Yeah. But yeah. No, we, no. we did branch out. It's just some of us either don't have access, some of us were already on other pre-established teams and didn't want to make another commitment issue. And most of us really formed a friendship around, like, right before League Zero. 
You get yeah. me? Right before the Season 2 League Zero. Also, so, after, uh, after I, League Zero, the season ended, I ended up taking a three-week break from Overwatch. Like, I didn't even touch the game. <clears throat> I played more Valorant and like just literally anything but Overwatch and then I ended up going on uh, I My ended team. up going onto the Yoink server and talking with Spork the E-Girl and we ended up duo queuing from low diamond all the way back up to Masters. Uh, I still didn't want to make a commitment to a team so I'm still technically not on a team other than just recently I joined the GG, yeah. uh, SPT's GG and A team. Uh, for yeah, I, I went to Horizon League as a coach. I didn't want to play. The only reason I do play for them is I'm backup. So, uh, as of now, I feel like I don't really find passion in a competitive scene of Overwatch like this as a league. I'll play the comp mode, just not the actual, like, like an actual scheduled, like tournament type thing anymore. Like, I guess like the answer to that question would be. Well, a lot more practice, I guess, because a lot of us like are already friends with each other, so it's just oh, yeah. different experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, I just want to say something. We all can keep in contact with each other, and that Giannis Antetokounmpo stand club. Why is he called that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Should I should I say why? It was the Michael Brown I, James the Pope. I, I took an. I, I don't know. I think I might have taken a nap, and I thought of that. <laughs> the, hashtag body. That's all I have to say. Hashtag body. I think. Um, for okay. Uh, for to answer Akers' question for me, anyways, it's just like all these other like leagues. It, I don't know. Just the community just wasn't for me. Like they're all like super serious, and I feel like that's kind of what happened to L Zero. Is it's like you had like all these people from other communities, like Horizon League and and Snowball Cup, and then like uh, Toker, Bro, and then they kind of like. GNA. Yeah, and then they kind of just bled in to uh, to L zero, and they just kind of made it less fun, like a lot less fun. Oh yeah, and it's, all, one? it's no it's no fault to like anyone on the staff team. The staff team, you know, they they're very they're very good. They're all very nice, and they all like you know gave it their all, right? Obviously, you know, some things happened, you know, Smurfs, but I mean, you know, something like that. It's almost impossible to you know actually have solid evidence. So, you know. Yeah. This is kind it of is a rant, nice. but like, notice Jeff, for the first generation of Toker players were actually really good and chill, but then when the second generation came in, they were so bad, that's what really killed this game. They were like only a few, they were like two, three good players in that time. Yeah, two, three. yeah. I remember, like, Toker was fun for the first few weeks, and then, and then everyone just became a bunch of hoes. Exactly, so. I know. <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. That changed with my team, because I had to play main tank and just flash up. <laughs> But it was Ricky really fun. That, that was so much fun dicking around the, on me. The second season of Toker really did kill to sleep when they oh, yeah. to L0. Yeah, like, but, also, for the first season of L0, I would happily play in 1 in 9 plat chat again. With oh, the same yeah. community. I like, think everybody would. Like, I think, like, if you knew how season 1 was played, I think everybody would rather play on 1 in 9 plat chat then. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I, I I feel bad for all like the like the newer newer players because like there are some players who are legitimately like really nice. Yeah. And I feel bad for Reborn because he wants to know what season one was like, and then he's like season oh. two was never that good. Yeah, no, season two, like literally, was not no I didn't like it at all. Like sometimes I liked it, but that was only when I was like with other people who are like. Friends. But People like, argue it's nostalgia, but to us it was more so the environment around us. Like Lynch, oh, yeah. when you had Lynch as a manager, he was so chill. When you compare the managers last season to this season, it's such a big difference. But we should yeah. probably go to the next question before we go on that <laughs> rant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I really only got one more question for you, and I will say briefly that you guys are... Honestly, this is the first time I'm hearing any of these complaints, so I, I think you are alone in that regard. But, um... But, like, yeah, I think anyways. that's just... Sounds like yeah, I'll finish. Similar idea. But anyways, the last question I got for you guys, uh, a bit of a light one. What's your favorite memory to come out of this season? This season? This season? Uh, I think it was Jackson Alicio as Doomfist. <laughs> uh, I feel like Bob Burgers game. Honestly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah the Bob Burgers game oh, is also awesome. Bob Burgers game. They were Those not that good, but they were awesome. nice. They, yeah. they, they, they were what I wanted the community to be like, where they, yeah. they just wanted to have fun, right? 
obviously, you know, it's not like the competitive nature of the the game, right? But you know, they were like, okay, every team with like ball breakers, the community would not be that bad. Like honestly, I would have thought of this season to probably even be better if the com every team was like ball breakers. Oh yeah, I wish. I mean, yeah. obviously, you know, this is really okay. Uh, goes here. For the very oh, last question. Oh, he's here! Talk in the bad! Yeah, Jonathan cries. Anyways, yeah, anyone else have any uh, particular uh, favorite I got, moments? I got one. Um, to be honest, uh, my goal this season was to come back and not have a season like I did season one on the Bark. Um, just getting shit on by Agreed. That was fun. Um, um so I, my one goal was to come back here and just do my best and not be shit. And I feel like I I did that this season. And that's what I'm walking away with. I don't want to make yeah. any. I don't want to make anything any rash decisions that'll make me hate the game or hate people again. Yeah. Wait, yeah, can I say something? Pretty cool. We could Yo, have. Okay, I'm wait. making the announcement right now, guys. I'm going pro Valorant. Uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Before we all, before the press conference is over, I want to say something. Everyone on our starting lineup has played or sus child with Platchat or almost was on Platchat. Because I know Sherlock was gonna be. No, I remember this. You were gonna be like moved down to Platchat from the bark. I remember yeah. that. Chicken then, child for Platchat. Yeah, chicken child. Kizko was on the team. I was, uh, that was yeah. Terrible. Oh yeah, nah, don't worry. EQ, e we don't game. talk about those days. Yeah, those days, we just forget. Oh my god. I, I, honestly, I really wish I was a manager for season two, but it's whatever. I mean, this, the decision was made, and it is what it is. Yeah. But, yeah. Right. I mean, it could have changed the outcome of League Zero, because like, what? Imagine if you were in Division B and you just like drafted with the pick up hurts. No, literally, I'm 99% sure I would probably would have went in the first I mean, round. I mean, the funny part is, is that I was offered a manager position, but that was like, it was like oh, yeah. three days before the draft, and, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna end up going into Div B, where the managers, you know, they're, you know, they, they already have an idea of who they're gonna draft, I'm just gonna get fucking rolled, because I have no scouting. I have no you were literally gonna compete with Pepega. Yeah, like, yeah, I was pretty much, it was just pretty much just gonna be me splitting up Papega in order to get an actual decent draft. And then, yeah, it would have been weird though just to like see that, but yeah, yeah, my, my heart goes up to Milky. Milky took a. Oh, yeah, Milky, yeah. Okay. Mil Milky, Milky did it. Milky, Milky was Dude, the Milky most is the biggest manager. victim of Div B, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> like, he should have had a way better opportunity, but he did. He was the most unappreciated manager in the entire league. Like yeah. he, yeah. like ev like there's, yeah, I, I just saw people shit. giving him, yeah, just so many people just giving him a ton of shit. Even though, like, I wouldn't blame any of, like, no, any of it for. Liddy, it's like, all he because he so he didn't draft the, like the best team. It's like, oh, you drafted, you didn't draft the good, you didn't draft the best team. Wow, you're a bad manager, of because drafting oh. team means you're no, good. Oh no, 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 I gotta go my cheer list now. I'm great overcharge last in every roll. Lo lo lo. Lo 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 lo. Honestly, bottom line is we had a good season, and if you don't think so, then you probably like the fucking cats movie or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, that's fucking a man. I mean, fucking we did man. we did kind of roll the uh, the all star thing, so we, we, and we, we also did... did we won goats. We're the goats. Champions. Yeah, we did win the goats. Oh, so that's all that matters. Oh, we did. We did. I love goats. Yes. Right. So at least we'll have who, that. Over. Who would have thought that uh, like plaid chat would be missing goats? Movie? Yeah. No way, bro. Oh, it's like they won a goats league last season. <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. Crazy. Anyways, bro, who was the like goats league this season? We would have rolled kids. On since it sounds like you guys are all done, I'm gonna drag Jemima in here and let him close this out. Okay, Jemima. Wait, well, I got one last thing to say. Go. Cool. Uh, okay. please follow twitch.tv slash Sherlock. That's Sherlock with two R's. Follow oh. Shim Timothy on Twitter. Follow Shim Timothy on Twitter. Yeah, can't forget it. Follow Carl Kaisi on Twitter. On Twitter. Five Twitter 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 Twitter. Close it out. Oh, wait, 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 follow at Croc OCE on Twitter. Follow, follow the boy hey. Hugh Crockers on Twitter, man. Yeah. Follow yeah, if you don't follow me, then you're on YouTube. If you don't follow me, you're a dumb baby. I hit breach this for is true. If, I hit if you don't follow so Croc, you are instantly a stinky binky baby. 
play Wait, Valorant. Wait, are you playing Valorant, Valorant right now? Yo, um, actually, yeah. I have some pretty epic news. After after I stopped playing Overwatch, I got accepted to my university program. So. Dog. How are you? So, Anyways, yeah. Jemima, you want to close this out? <laughs> <laughs> Jemima, you wanna close this out with the thing? No, I just wanted to annoy you, Akri. Okay. Well, <laughs> where the fuck Hope is you all enjoyed this. That's the best question. No. Bring back Skiller. Definitely an I'm interesting Skiller. press conference. Uh, last one, thank fucking god, because this was a lot uh, for this whole Fortnite week. Monkey Dude, watch your language, Akri. Yeah, fucking a man. Fuck uh, watch anyways. out. Watch See ya.